With the help of a grant from the Carnegie Corporation, BustedHalo.com began covering the issue of immigration in a unique way. Instead of contributing to the glut of coverage about immigration, Busted Halo is featuring stories by immigrants themselves about the issue. We distributed flip video cameras to undocumented individuals and agencies across the country and asked them to start video blogging for a period of at least three months. Busted Borders is an attempt to use the web's unfiltered nature to move the immigration debate away from abstractions and statistics. Regardless of where you stand on the issue, we hope to give a personal glimpse into the humanity of these strangers in our midst. For reasons of safety, some of the participants have opted to keep their last names and locations secret. Hi, um, my name is uh, Miguel Garnica Jr. When I was 10 years old, my parents decided to bring us from um, Mexico to the United States. We got a apply for a passport in Guadalajara and uh, they ripped us off for, we paid like three grand back then, $3,000 and um, we didn't get it. So we decided to, we knew we were gonna come anyway, so we came here legally. It was kind of shocking for me the culture, the language. Immigrating was a difficult time, and not knowing the language was even a little harder. And not having teachers that will speak the language, or that they will try to teach you the language was hard. All through high school, sometimes you feel like an outsider, and I never told them that I was undocumented. And um, even now when I see People from high school and I told them that I didn't have my green card back then. They're, they couldn't, they couldn't believe it. They said, "Well, why not?" But they don't understand <clears throat> how long the process is, um, and how long it takes, and all the sacrifices, and money, and time, and documents, and filling out documents, and going here and going there. And one person tells you not one thing, another person tells you another thing. Um, and everything seems to be money, money. I know how, how it feels to to feel like an outsider. Um, I did a focus group when I first started working here and uh, a lot of them were saying that people without documentation and people with documentation, the people that have documentation, they make fun of the people that are undocumented. They discriminate them. They talk bad about them, they make fun of them, and this among ourselves.